Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Mindy Banks, the Flip Flop Chef. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a crumb cake and a limoncello cream pie. You're gonna love this. Um, I'm back using my co deluxe cooking blender from Pampered Chef, so if you're not familiar with this, um, drop a comment below and let me know. I would love to share more information with you about it. It is a powerhouse in the kitchen. So we're actually gonna use the deluxe cooking blender to mix up a cake mix, and I am using just a regular yellow cake. Um, we're gonna add some vanilla to it, add a little bit extra flavor, and then we're gonna use another deluxe cooking blender container to make a crumb topping for the crumb cake. After that, I'm gonna show you guys how to make, it's called a no-bake limoncello pie, but you do bake the crust. So there's a little bit of baking, but um, once you pour the filling in, there's no baking after that. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me know if you're watching live or if you're watching the replay, where you're watching from. If you have any questions along the way, feel free to leave them in the comments. So we're gonna mix a cake mix in our deluxe cooking blender. So I've already added to the blender container one box of yellow cake mix. You could get this at any grocery store. This just happens to be Aldi brand. Um, you're gonna mix it according to the package directions. So we're gonna add in our oil and, um, so a third cup of oil, one cup of water. I wanna make sure I was telling you that right. So our oil, the water. We're gonna also add in four eggs. Or I'm sorry, three eggs. Add another recipe that uses four eggs. Three eggs and teaspoon of Pampered Chef's double strength vanilla. So you could cut this in half if you wanted to only use um, half a teaspoon since this is double strength, but vanilla is my favorite flavor. So I love adding it to recipes and I don't ever cut the, um, the amount in half. All right, so let me zoom in so you guys can see this and clean off my hand there. All right, we're gonna put the lid on and you'll hear this connect so if you don't hear that noise, the blender's not gonna operate. So it's um, really a smart blender. So these two pieces have to connect for this to work. So you're never gonna actually have an issue where you use the blender with the lid off. So I'm gonna um, use the custom blend setting, which is the default setting. I'm gonna press start, and I'm just gonna turn this to three, and you can adjust that it as variable. need to get this nice and blended. I have our rectangular baker right here. I'm gonna pop this off of the base and we're gonna use our um, long skinny scraper. This is made to be used in the blender. So I'm just gonna pour the cake batter. You saw how quick and easy that was. It blends it up so nicely. You'll be able to clean your blender containers on the heated wash setting. You just add three cups of water and a drop of soap, turn it, put it back on the base and turn it on to the heated wash setting. It heats the water up and cleans it all for you. You just have to pour it out, rinse it and dry it off. So we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees and then we're gonna set a timer for 15 to 20 minutes. So hang tight, let me pop this in the oven. I realized I didn't have my phone in front of me. Whoops, let me grab it. This timer's not working. Sorry guys, I should have just told Alexa or Siri to set a timer for me. So let's do 17 minutes since it says 15 to 20. I hate that. Give me an exact time, right? <laughs> All right, so while we are waiting for the cake to cook Partly. It's not going to cook completely. Um, it is going to get a nice, uh, it'll be nice and firm. We're going to make the crumb topping that's going to go on the top. So um, I have several blender containers, so thankfully I don't have to stop and wash these in between um, directions. But in this one, um, I have four cups of flour. I'm going to add two cups of sugar. We're going to also add in two tablespoons of cinnamon. I am using Pampered Chef's Karenji cinnamon. And this cinnamon is gonna be available again. My bottle's almost empty. It's gonna be available again October the 15th. Tiny bit more. There we go. Two tablespoons of the cringy cinnamon is the best cinnamon that you can possibly find. Um, so we've got the flour, the sugar, and the cinnamon. We're gonna add a whole pound of butter. So um, this is not um, one of those recipes that you're gonna really, you know, 
cut the calories on. We're gonna put all this in. I'm gonna have, probably should have started it. Um, all right, it's a little bit full. We're gonna see if this works. I actually usually use a mixer. We're gonna see if we can make this happen. If not, it says pampered, not perfect. Oops, this is the dirty lid from our, um, all right, let's see. We're gonna definitely use the tamper. So we're gonna use this on custom blend. I'm gonna press cancel and we're gonna start this like on four. Oops, there we go. Um, I probably should have started the butter and then slowly added the ingredients, but I was trying to do it all fast. If you guys know me, I do everything fast. We're going to skip on over to the, um, to the limoncello pie. So I went ahead and pre-baked that crust. Let me grab that to show you guys. Okay. So this is Pampered Chef's deep dish pie plate. And um, this now comes in a really pretty gray color. I'm going to set this aside. It still needs to cool a little bit. Um, we're going to add the ingredients for our um, filling. So we're going to add one container of, one package rather, of cream cheese. Add that in. And then we're going to add in one can of sweetened condensed milk. And I'm going to use our smooth edge can opener. If you've never seen this used before, I like to start at the front of the can. And you're just going to attach the can opener right on the top. Twist this all the way around until you bypass your starting point. If you have the can opener, then you love it. This is like one of our most popular products. So just turn that counterclockwise to get the lid off. We're gonna add in sweetened condensed milk. Anything you add sweetened condensed milk to, it's gonna taste amazing. All right. Let's see, move that up a little bit. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of homemade limoncello. So this is, limoncello is a, a liqueur made with vodka and lemon peel. I'm gonna add some lemon zest. Um, this is our microplane zester. I'm just gonna zest this right over the top. I don't think you can ever have too much lemon flavor, but check this out. See how much zest is still on there? So I'm just gonna give this a tap, and then I'm gonna cut this. I didn't put a cutting mat out, so I'm gonna borrow my towel over here. All right, we're gonna add in some lemon juice using our juicer. All right, I'm gonna get any of those seeds in, so I'm gonna pour that out there. Do another lemon, and the lemon half, I should say, one lemon total. All right. Rinse my tamper off in case we need it. So if you're interested in the recipe for the homemade limoncello, go to my recipe group, theflipflopchef.com, and you'll be able to find that there. We're gonna put the lid right on the top here. Take this, well, I may not need the pamper, so I'm gonna leave that on. All right, place this on the base. Let's see here. All right, we're gonna do custom blend. Get that started. for um, our pie crust. So to make this pie crust that I have already pre-made here for you guys, this is graham cracker crumbs and 
stick of butter. So I took a box of graham crackers, just like this, and in here you're gonna find three of these containers. I just ground up two of these. I did one in the blender on the grind setting, and then I added in the other one. <clears throat> We're gonna pour this in, but I wanna wait for it to totally cool, so I'll do that off camera. I'll set this aside, and let me show you guys how to make homemade whipped cream. If you've never made homemade whipped cream before, you're gonna love this. It is amazing. I'm gonna make the whipped cream using Pampered Chef's whipped cream maker. And then when I'm ready to serve this, I'm gonna fill this Easy Accent decorator with the whipped cream and decorate the top of the pie. So in my little whipped cream maker, I already have some powdered sugar and some vanilla extract. I'm gonna add in a cup of heavy whipping cream. You don't have to measure it. There is a fill line. You just may not be able to see that very well on camera. Take the top here. And then what I'm gonna do is you have to pull all the way up and push all the way down. So I'm gonna zoom in so that you guys can see um, this in action. So you pull up all the way and push down. And you need to do this a little bit quickly. And it will start to thicken up relatively quick. This takes 30 seconds to a minute total time. I don't know if you guys can hear and see like the pumping is slower and it's getting thicker. All right, check this out. Homemade whipped cream in a matter of seconds. So pretty incredible. So, all right, so showed you how to make the crumb cake um, and this is one of those pampered not perfect moments. And so um, what I would recommend doing next time, if you're using the blender, put the butter in, add a little bit of the flour um, mixture, and then just continue to add and mix it slowly along the way. Um, I am going to throw all this in my KitchenAid just for time's sake to get all that um, crumb mixture mixed up together. When the cake comes out of the oven, I'm going to pour this right on top of the cake butter. It's really a thick layer of crumb topping. And then it bakes again. Let me use my cheat sheet for 15 to 20 minutes and then you let it cool completely before serving it. It's a beautiful, beautiful recipe because you have a thick layer of cake and then a thick layer of the crumb topping on the top. So I hope you enjoyed these videos, uh, this video today and these recipes. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Make sure you join my recipe group. You can find it at theflipflopchef.com. Have a great day.